everybody. Thanks for joining me here at Power Mods. It's Project Titanimal. We're working on this 850 Chaos. It's uh, 2020, so it's a brand new snow check that I ordered. And we're going to do a bunch of lightning to this. I like to make things lighter. Um, it's always been a kind of a pack. I don't even know why I do it, because I, I hate heavy things, I guess. I hate lifting heavy things full of snow and when they're stuck and... It just makes sense to me that things are lighter. They can only do it, make it so light from the factory uh, because the costs are going to start to run up. And then you got to watch manufacturing processes uh, that you're not making something a little more fragile, right? But pretty much everything we're going to be doing to this is carbon and titanium parts. So they're lighter, but they're actually you know, stronger than stock, which is, which is a good thing. My hood and my two side panels are at Parks Composites. They're making molds and we're gonna have carbon fiber panels for this. We're gonna lighten everything up. I'm not going to do all of this at once. I, you know, as I get parts and as I sort of scrape some cash together, I'm gonna add different things here and there. Making things lighter costs a lot of money. It's, it's cheap when you start, depending on what it is you're doing, you know, some of the cheapest things you can do. The uh, muffler on this, uh, I forget what it weighs, but we're gonna be weighing everything. Uh, you know, I'm just swapping it out with this Jaws trail can. Um, we lose some serious weight right there. This sled, we weighed it in when we first got it, uh, right out of the box with fluids in it, not completely full of fuel, it's whatever came from the factory in the crate, and it came in at about 475 pounds. It does have electric start on it. I did order it because I like electric start, but I'll be taking it off while we're doing all this, um, just to see how light we can actually make this machine. And then I'll put the electric start back on because you, know, you guys know, or some of you know, that when you get into a precarious situation where your slide sort on its side, it's really hard to uh, use the cord and get it going. Sometimes it's easier just to give it a flick of the of the uh, key and away you go. That being said, we're definitely gonna use a lighter battery, but we'll get into all that. Right now, we're gonna just start chiseling away at some weight on this thing, and um, as we progress, we'll just keep adding videos to it. Uh, some people are kind of upset that, you know, they just wanna see us working on old sleds all the time and all that, yeah, well, you know, I've done that for years. Uh, I like the new sleds because they start all the time and they're really comfortable and they're easy on my back. It uh, doesn't mean we're not going to be doing stuff with the older sleds. It's just, this is a project I'm working on and I want to see how light I can make it. That's kind of how I'm rolling with this. One thing we did do to this sled was uh, crop the tunnel. And I mean, it looks, whoopsie, and it looks completely factory. My friend uh, Martin Racine did it. We took nine inches off this. Um, so it's quite a bit shorter. We're just going to stick this handle on it because I'm doing a ride tomorrow and I want a little bit of a handle so I can grab and lift. And I'm going to put a flap on it as well. But we're going to change things up a little bit. So we've got three types of scales. We've got one that can lift the sled, tell us what that weighs. We've got smaller scales to when we start getting into the grams as well. Um, I have a few ideas that I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to say what they are right now as far as lightening it up. Like, I mean, we've got a, a lighter track. We've got the uh, next tech carbon sled suspension for it, which is super light. We've made a new, we're testing a new uh, oil reservoir that'll be going on soon. We're probably going to make a lightweight um, carbon fiber fuel tank for it. Uh, there's a few other things in the works as well, but uh, we can't let it all out of the bag right now, right? So I think what we're gonna do today is we're gonna swap out that Jaws can and put that on. Now, I'm toning down the, I usually run the race cans or the rowdy cans, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go a little quieter this year. You know, a lot of people are getting upset with the louder cans and all that, and we still have them on some of our machines, but uh, for the long rides, I think I'm going to go with something a little quieter, so I'm going to go with the Jaws Trail Can. Um, but I'm definitely ditching the one that's on here because that's a very heavy pig of a thing. Let's go weigh it. Can't find my really cool spring tool, so I'm just going to make one. I've got this big screwdriver here. You boys can see it. Flathead screwdriver. You just take yourself a cutting machine. 
Schweine. Just do that to it. Make it focus. That's it, right? So now it's not going to be as effective as a screwdriver anymore, but it's going to be a pretty good spring puller. If I worked it right, oh, it might need to be a little wider. No, that's it. Now we're going to put this. Uh, put these all up here. I loosened my. O2 sensor. Watch out there, bud. Get in, get in, get in. I'm taking the sled tomorrow for a little rip. I'm gonna do some breaking, breaking in. Um, so we're not gonna go whole hog. I got all kinds of stuff to hook up or to uh, install on this baby to make it lighter. I'm just not going to have time to do it all right yet. This little O2 sensor just takes a 17 mil wrench. What a beast. Now, if you're taking these off, make sure that the area that you're riding in allows you to ride with cans or aftermarket exhaust products, right? Let's go weigh this, see what that weighs. Compare it to the Jazz. We've got our little weight scaly thing here. Let's see what this is, is that zeroed? This is in grams, we're gonna do it in grams. Everything is in grams to start. So 7,314 grams. Seventy-three, fourteen, which in pounds, oops, oh, I nuked it, hold on, there we go, there, there you go, so in pounds, that's 16.12 pounds, 6.42 pounds. is 2914 grams 9.75 pounds right arm we just lost 9.75 pounds that's substantial let me see or 9.7 my bad 9.7 so four so We're down 465. Now, what do you guys think we can get this down to? I have a goal in my mind where I want to have this the very end when we drain all the fluids out of it and uh, we got it completely dry and then we're going to wait because that's what the guys online seem to like to do. And then we'll probably do it from a tree when it's all, you know, soaked, soaked with, uh, with snow as well, snow and ice. So that's where we're laying with that. Let's go back and get that canyon. All right. While we're in here putting in this cool Jaws trail can, we're gonna get rid of this fat, heavy battery, man. This is no good. I know, what are you doing running a battery in an electric start if you wanna be lighter? Ah, whatever. My, uh, my old bones need it. All you older guys will understand, or understand it. You younger guys, you will learn one day. But it's gonna come off eventually. I just see, that's pretty cool taking a look in here, how different this engine is and how it's mounted compared to the other one, the old 800. It's quite interesting. But anyway, we're gonna pull this out. What do you think uh, the lead acid battery weighs in here? Now, this is a lithium ion battery. I know it won't crank when it's really cold. Oh my God, this weighs nothing. Uh, it won't crank when it's really cold, but when the machine warms up, 
it'll definitely start. This is what I ran in my other RMK uh, for three years. I never had an issue with it. Now, does this fit? Oh, yes. Look at that. Look how small that is. Isn't that sweet? That is sweet. Look at that. That won't even fit. So all I'll do is I'll just, I'm just going to zip tie that in there and get rid of this thing. Oh, that's a good idea, right? We have to weigh this. And this. And this. Oh, let's go weigh this. 1,200 pounds. <laughs> what? 12 pounds? Oh, 12 pounds, 15.3 ounces. <laughs> I thought it was a Yamaha battery there for a second. Okay, well, did I say that aloud? Darn it. Okay, 12. Okay, so that battery with this little goofy thing here, 13.03 pounds, 914 grams. Well, that's pretty good. So two pounds, two ounces. Minus 11.02, minus 9.7, minus 11.02 equals 454 pounds. 454.28. Nice. Oh, boys. It's going to come down fast, man, that way. You just wait and see. Look at this. I got this track. This is a Conquer 260. It weighs, I think it's 39 pounds, 39.9 pounds. Something like that. So it is very lightweight. I'm still gonna make it lighter. I'll show you how to do that too. <laughs> Skibo cutting holes and everything. You wanna believe it. Skibo invented Swiss cheese and, okay, so there we go. No, I didn't. This is really silly. Look at this giant steel tray in here. And we're gonna get that out of there, man. We're gonna create something new. That's no good. That is way too big, man. Imagine that, look at that thing. It's huge. Okay, in all good conscience, I can't take that big lunky battery out and then leave this thing in here. That's just silliness. Okay, so let's get that out, Kai. Big, big Torx. Battery tray. 1.63. Yeah, only when we get the lights up. So 1.63 pounds. We're gonna use, that, that was kind of like a warm, the, the cover for it. So we'll, we're gonna fiddle around and make this hold the battery. So we're gonna put that on. Gonna go here. And this, I forgot to add all this up. This is all the bits and pieces that came off the tunnel. And you can see the extrusion there, the cooling channel. So, how much is that? 2.17 pounds. So that's 3.97 pounds. Okay, we just used that little aluminum bracket that came. It was a battery cover, actually. We flipped it upside down and riveted it onto the side of the machine and strapped it in. Let's go through this one. This gizmo here, awesome. Bam. I think that's about it. There. Nice. I'll just pop one of these babies on here. Measure two and a half inches back from this here. That would give me right about there. Because you need to install this little this little spring tab here. Which way does it go? Like that? Sure. So yeah, you don't want to leave that near there. We're gonna definitely want to re-zip tie that up. That's okay. We've got the technology. One of the other things this e-start is good for, especially now during this break-in process, is sometimes those plugs get a little fouled and it's uh, a little trickier to start sometimes. So this way I don't have to pull a thousand times to get her going all the time. Well, we need to bring some new, new plugs with us too, Kai.
We save a lot of weight. Let's start this up. What do you think? This is a painted JAWS can. It's not uh, cermachromed or ceramachromed or whatever it's called. It is an epoxy paint. Uh, we've got to bring it up to operating temperature once, then just let it sit and uh, cool down. And then we can take it and give her a good rep. And then that, that epoxy paint actually really hardens up like an epoxy, but it needs the heat to cure it. But you got to warm it, let it cool down, and then bring it up to operating temperature as per JAWS instruction buy this can make sure you give us a call here at power mods we'll get it out to you we have uh, access to all of jaws uh, products we do have a bunch of this alternative impact we're a dealer for them as well uh, we've got posts and cross members this is a muffler brace we're gonna put all that on uh, but not right yet because tomorrow's uh, low snow conditions the possibility of smashing some a-arms up pretty good so I'd rather bust those up than all my nice new titanium stuff Thanks for watching as usual, keep coming back. We're gonna do some more shaving of weight on this beast. Okay, I think we'll do the seat next.